Good morning, I'm Brooke Hafes. Governor Evers announced a plan to help Wisconsin recover from issues relating to COVID-19. The plan is called Badger Bounce Back. It involves several steps. The first aims to help healthcare workers by increasing testing and reducing hospital capacity. Once the first step is achieved, businesses can start to reopen. However, the state has to wait for a 14-day decline in cases. Vice President Mike Pence will be in Wisconsin today. He is scheduled to tour the GE Healthcare Manufacturing Plant in Madison, where they're making ventilators to treat COVID-19 patients. The Brown County Library's doors are closed, but the staff wants you to know they're still here to help. They're answering phone calls and emails to help you find the resources you need. There is a plan in the works for curbside pickup that could start on Friday. All right, as far as today, it's going to be a quieter day, though, with that sunshine still cold and blustery. Uh, this evening looking quiet, and then overnight, the first chance of snow showers, and that chance of snow showers is going to continue into tomorrow, all depending on where a warm front sets up here. Yes, snow showers along a warm front. We'll have to watch exactly where that is because there could be some accumulation under some of those. But remember, our ground is still kind of warm. No, this, is, this isn't helping much today. 44 degrees, blustery, cool. At least the sun looks nice outside. Now, the evening fine, overnight, the first chance of some snow showers out there. And that chance continues into tomorrow. And some rain showers possible, especially farther to the south. 42, maybe warmer south. Either way, we'll have to watch exactly where that frontal boundary kind of ends up as to who could see some accumulation. Who could see. It's not guaranteed. All right, as far as Thursday, still looking cool. Uh, Friday, finally back to 50. Those are low 50s into the weekend, though. That is still below average. At least the weekend looks mainly dry. Now you can watch your radar overnight into tomorrow on our news app. It's free in your app store.